Welcome to the Forbes Business School video interview series. I'm with uh, Jörg Rokel, the president of the European School of Management and Technology, ESMT, uh, here in Berlin. Uh, Jörg, thank you very much for uh, being with us. Thank you. Um, what makes ESMT such a special place in business education? ESMT is a unique place. Um, it's young, it's um, aspiring, um, it is a very dynamic place and it's here in the very city center of Berlin in a, in a building that actually used to host the um, Supreme Governing Council of the GDR. What difference does it make um, that the school is, is here in Berlin, the political capital, also for an ecosystem of entrepreneurship? Berlin is a very important part um, of our identity. It's um, an enabling factor for us, given that we are here surrounded by politics. Uh, so this means we can be a platform in the exchange between politicians, regulators, academics, business people. Um, at the same time, we benefit a lot from the fact that uh, Berlin is booming in terms of its startup scene. So uh, we have young students who would like to start their own business, who would like to join startup companies, who would like to learn how startup companies do this. So lots of things that are just exciting. Now, the school's name implies the convergence of management and technology. Um, do you feel that one is best uh, combined with the other? Yes, we truly believe that uh, management of technology is a very important part. So we are not a technology university. Um, at the same time, uh, we would rather like to see how um, the benefits of technology can be used in the management of companies to uh, generate economic value, to uh, drive innovation, and how to make uh, companies more competitive. Uh, technology is filled with visionary leaders. Is, is um, leadership something that you can teach? Leadership um, is certainly very hard to teach and just to say this is the way uh, one should be a leader. But at the same time, it's very important uh, to bring these values to our students. Uh, companies complain more and more that they wouldn't like to see so many managers, but rather to see more leaders. And what we uh, can do and what we uh, are motivated to do is to challenge our students in all kinds of situations and to prepare them to be good leaders. Do you think it's easier to come from a management background and embrace technology? or to come from a technology background and embrace management? So um, this is uh, the, the embracing of management technology has to happen from both sides. So it's very important, uh, and this is where we would like to provide our contribution to bring both of them uh, together. So uh, it wouldn't be enough to just be a manager without understanding technology. At the same time, it would not be good to just be a technological expert and not understanding the management implications. Mm -hmm. When you um, think about the careers that your students here will pursue and the executives who also come through, um, do you have any advice in terms of their career development? I think the main uh, and crucial advice is uh, to give to our students is to just follow what they really are passionate about because uh, they have um, a professional life ahead of them which may last for a couple of decades um, and it's very important to do something within this time that really drives you so that also may bring you across the one or the other disappointment that may uh, come about. So it's really important to just follow the passion uh, one has. They're perhaps optimistic about their futures. Uh, are you optimistic about the future of Europe? So the European situation is certainly uh, in a very challenging situation right now. Uh, we see many countries with very high levels of unemployment, in particular among young people. Uh, we see uh, challenges in the high levels of debt on the private side, on the public side. Uh, lots of steps have to be taken and they will last for many years. So this makes it even more important for uh, companies to be competitive, for uh, more companies to be grown, for entrepreneurship to take place, so that the challenges might be actually um, tackable in a, at least a little bit easier way. You have a very active involvement in the economic advisory for the uh, German Ministry of Finance uh, and perhaps have opportunities to uh, have dinner with politicians, businessmen. But if uh, you could choose the person uh, that you went to dinner with, who would that be? Uh, I guess it should be someone um, who stands up for convictions even in a fierce, in a very adverse environment. And um, I admire those people most who actually are able to do so. Um, think of people uh, in the resistance uh, during the Nazi regime uh, in Germany. Uh, think of those who uh, actually oppose socialism and the, the bad treatment of socialism here in, in East Germany um, between, um, say, World War II and today. Think of people like uh, Nelson Mandela, anyone who actually took a very strong view um, despite all the uh, fierce uh, resistance and not being opportunistic at all. And, and that sort of standing up for what you believe in, you, you um, have the chair for governance and compliance. Uh, 
Um, is that, that that scene need to stand up for good governance? Good governance is crucial. Um, it is crucial not only in those countries in which you may think governance is not really well developed. It's also crucial here uh, in Germany, in any other developed country. We have to further improve the governance systems so that everyone can benefit from um, the great um, attributions that market econ economies have. As a young boy, uh, perhaps you didn't expect that you would one day be president of, uh, of a leading business school in Europe. What did you dream of becoming? Well, I think as a young boy, probably uh, I would have most liked to become a soccer player. But uh, soon I realized that my ability was far away from the expectation that would have been necessary or say the uh, level that would have been necessary to, to be so. Right. Well, thank you very much for sharing this interview with us. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you very much.